The 26th annual Texas Book Festival is underway through Sunday and the community is invited to join in on the free celebration. It's a hybrid event this year with both virtual and in-person author appearances. Tara Newbaum is live at the Austin Central Library with those details. Tara, I don't think I love anything else more than free and this is just an incredible value of what we're getting. It really is, Leslie, and this is a great festival for book lovers and those who are interested in exploring reading and literature. And Lois, how can people with the community really get involved in everything you guys have going on throughout the rest of the week? Well, the message that I would want to send is that it's the same amazing free festival for everyone. But it's a different year, so we're doing things a little bit differently. Um, we have in-person programming um, this weekend over the Halloween weekend, so we have kids' story times all day at Symphony Square, um, and we're partnering with Waterloo Greenway at, on that program. And then we also have our fun lit crawl happening that evening. Um, the key message is people need to register online, you know, because of um, this different year. So as long as you're um, registering in advance, it's all free. Just go ahead and do that. And then today here at this amazing library, um, on Sunday, we're here today, and on Sunday we're going to be um, having adult programming all day um, at the Central Library. And Texas Monthly is going to be uh, one of the panelists that's featured. So Kathy, um, what is this new book about and what are you guys going to be doing during the panel? Yeah, this is really exciting for us. We are celebrating our 50th anniversary at the magazine in two years. So we decided to do a, a series of books. So this is our first of four books with Harper Wave. And it actually comes out November 9th. So if you come on Sunday, you'll be one of the first people to be able to get a copy. And we have a panel at 2 o'clock. And we have longtime writers, Mimi Schwartz, who a lot of our, our readers know, Wes Ferguson, who writes about outdoors, and our taco editor, Jose Rolot. Okay, so a little sneak peek of this and uh, some good content there. That's just one of many in-person events happening here on Sunday. Like you mentioned, people need to register, Lois. But um, what's the goal of this festival? And, you know, how do you hope to encourage new readers? Um, our vision is to inspire all Texans to love reading. And we have more than 200 authors participating virtually and online. So our goal is to connect authors with readers. That's mm -hmm. always been our mission, and we continue with this mission. So we hope that people will enjoy these incredible conversations and have the opportunity to support authors, you know, buy books, be with the community. We can't wait to see everyone. We've really missed seeing people in person. And there are so many books out there. It's great, like you said, to connect with those authors, whether it be virtual or in person. Again, TexasBookFestival.org to check out all of the programming that's happening. There's a lit crawl tonight. There's a lit crawl on Saturday, children's event Saturday, and uh, in-person uh, adult programming on Sunday. So check it out online, Leslie. All right, Tara. Yeah, I need that being a Texan book. And a special shout out to Jose. He's a taco editor. We, we've had him here on Good Day, of course, before pandemic. But uh, tacos, taco talk, and books, sign me up. <laughs> S Sunday. There you go. All right. I got it. All right. Thanks, Tiro.